Hello Pisces! Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of September of 2020 Spiritual Guidance Reading. I'm going to be starting out with the Tea Leaf Fortune Card Deck by Ray Hepburn and I'm going to do a circle spread. So dear Lord Spirit Guides and Angels, please bless whichever Pisces energy I'm reading for. Sun, Moon, or Rising, Male or Female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on, with clearly defined messages regarding the second half of September of 2020. Okay, so in the center of the circle spread, and in the center of the month of September, we have a Pisces with the Jug energy who has very lighthearted and carefree times with another or others. Wow. And then we have the pail tipping over. It's like you poured water into something and then the pail tipped over. And the pale energies say it's time to get out of a situation. So someone may be are connecting with others but are unsure as to move how to move ahead from here. And I feel that's only from like the 16th to the 18th of September. Spirit is trying to tell you to pay attention, Pisces, to the chain of events that led you to where you are headed. For the chain of events is what got you to what you are celebrating now. So some Pisces, you know what you're celebrating or you know what you want to celebrate or you're in the process during the second half of September of celebrating and creating and manifesting this ability to break away and find some carefree time with the jug energy. Now in the relationship sector we do have October. So you may be connecting with someone who was born in October. This could be someone who may have Libra or Scorpio in their chart. I'm going to clarify that card. Oh! Look at that, Pisces. In the relationship sector to another or others in the second half of September of 2020, we have success in October. It could be that this Pisces was contemplating, should I stay with the situation? Do I want the situation? And then all of a sudden, boom, people were pouring, grabbing waters, pops, however, and there was this lighthearted, carefree time. And now by mid-September, I think the Pisces is like, wow, this happened that led me here, and then this happened that led me here, and now I'm walking into a successful journey, not only in the second half of September, but I'm feeling for the whole month of October. Success in the area of relationships, in the relationship sector of the circle spread. So in the actions position of the circle spread, you are going to hear good news if you haven't already by mid-September Pisces. And in your actions position, we have a candle. So lighting that candle and knowing that you will be shown the way. Maybe lighting a little path or following a path or going for a walk and you have like a, a flashlight or a, a, a little, I don't know. And then we have emotionally. By the end, say the last week of September of 2020, we've got the bell energy. Announcement. Subconsciously, we have the bird flying energy. News is on its way. Someone knew that news was on its way. They were hoping for a lighthearted, carefree time where they could come together uh, and with either, again, someone born in the area of Libra or Scorpio and manifest success in relationships. News is on its way. Good news is being created through your efforts, especially in the second half of September of 2020. Spirit saying, just enjoy this journey. Light that candle. Uh, walk down that little path and know that you will be shown the way through this good news as to where you can create lighthearted, carefree energy. There was an announcement or there is an announcement that is coming if you haven't received that yet. I know some Pisces that did and I did. 
So day to day we have the rose. Romance is in the air. Why? Because when we get good news, all of a sudden everything starts to flow. We've got success. Everything's feeling beautiful in relation to others. Good news is coming in. Therefore, romance starts to finally come back. I don't know what happened to romance. Romance went on a vacation for quite a while. I almost feel like through the second half of 2019 into uh, mid-2020. Uh, uh, All right, so in your inner strengths position, we have the dolphin. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Maybe you thought about getting out of a situation, but Spirit is trying to tell you with the chain energies, a chain of events is going to bring you good news. The news is on its way with the bird flying energy, and there will be success in October. There will be an announcement that brings you that lighthearted, carefree energy back again, which of course enhances the area of romance. So there are results with the dolphin energy. Spirit is showing you the way in the area of financial gain because of your efforts and your spirit's giving you in the inner strengths position the strength to wait and hang in there. All right, so on the bottom of the deck, Look at that, gong, big announcement emotionally, especially by the end of September of 2020, where there is an exciting event. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. A period of prosperity and abundance is helping you to create a solid foundation and success because of your efforts. Beautiful Pisces, let me know who this is. And thank you to those of you who are commenting in the comment section and letting me know that these messages are resonating in your journey. All right, so let's clarify. I'm going to bring in the Witch's Tarot deck by Ellen Dukin, and I'm going to clarify uh, the astrological signs and or elements of those whom by which Pisces will be connecting with during the second half of September of 2020. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Pisces I'm reading for with clearly defined messages for the second half of September. Yeah, wow. So, by mid-September, we have a Pisces who is laying down an old path in the area of creativity, career, home. You were trying to get out of a situation and then boom! Someone poured water on the flowers of your life and now you can lay down this weight that was probably going on through the summer for this Pisces. Now remember, a chain of events is happening because with candle energies in your actions position, spirit is taking the wheel. By mid, say the 16th to around the 25th of September of 2020, Pisces, you are going to be receiving a lot of attention and recognition that's when you start to realize the chain of events that have taken place that have allowed you to lay down any heavy burdens in the area of passion, home, family, what you're passionate about. Now, in the relationship sector, we do have uh, maybe an older fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo, or they have that in their chart with the King of Wands. This is you being able in the relationship sector to connect with others, to set goals and meet goals, and to turn your life into a well-oiled machine. As you are going to be celebrating success and connection to another or others in October if you aren't in the second half of September. Some of you are working with someone who's in a leadership position, again, who may have fire in their chart, Sagittarius or Leo. Either way, you are creating an opportunity to maybe yell out to others or send messages to others. Uh, good news. Good news because of someone, like I said, who may have Leo in their chart. Good news coming from someone who not only has the strength to make things happen for you, but also to bring peace in your life. Somebody is really wanting to, you have the strength, oh gosh, okay, the strength to do what you will with good news, okay? 
Let Spirit Guide the Way in Your Actions position during the second half of September of 2020 because here we have the Temperance Angel is a major arcana. Again, someone who may have fire in their chart, Sagittarius or Leo, and the Temperance Angel as a major arcana represents Sag. So maybe creating success in October with a Sag. And Spirit is lighting the way. Is helping you with the Temperance Angel is a major arcana. Spirit's going to help you to maintain balance as you set goals and meet goals regarding your future. And take action in your actions position. For an announcement is going to be coming your way. And it's a beautiful emotional one. By the end of September of 2020. Maybe even the beginning of October Pisces. Someone is going to make an announcement. Or you're going to be making an announcement to others. About good news having to do with the Leo and or the strength. To say, Spirit led us here. Or Spirit led me here. And now I can make an announcement because I recognize it was meant to be. This attention and this recognition that subconsciously I knew that good news was on its way because I prayed for it with the karmic energy. So remember subconsciously to pray to Spirit for peace, joy, and happiness. Please bring joy into my life again. Whoever is praying to Spirit, whoever is helping you make these changes in the area of success in relation to others, good news is on its way or you're recognizing that karmically you earned this good news. Now this is interesting. We have the area of romance being lit up because other things are moving forward in your life. But with the Seven of Swords energies, we have someone who may be a little bit sneaky. Or you're just worried about that in the area of romance. This could also be someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, who tries to come back towards you because they see or they hear that you are creating a wonderful life of success that you have received or are giving some form of announcement. So in your inner strengths position, look at that. Spirit's giving you the strength, Pisces, to receive, to plan, to get excited about the Ace of Wands. This is a gift from the universe in the area of home, family, business, passion. And with the dolphin energies, there will be financial gain because of your efforts in the past. So someone is laying down a path in the area of home family business and you're moving into a new direction. In fact, spirit is trying to guide you there. Romance will return after indecision and uh, success is going to be worked on. And the effort you put in, the more excited you get and then you are sending good news or people are sending good news to you and then financial gain brings you a lot of attention and recognition. Now, in a three-card summary to my left, we have the first couple cards representing the 16th through around the 20th of September. So we have this desire for someone to make an offer to us, receiving an offer, so that you can bring an end to waiting, to overthinking. Yeah, so that you can leave behind a path that was fun for a while and now decide do I want to continue moving forward? Okay, so there's some are getting new messages about a chain of events. For others, you're still waiting. It's coming. If you have not received it, if you are, put, if you are putting your effort into something that you really, truly are excited about in the second half of September of 2020. So we have indecision here regarding maybe an older water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, father, grandfather, figure, brother, uncle, whoever. Uh, there's indecision about because of maybe there hasn't been communication with the two of swords. And now we have the two of wands, a shocking realization about a new path, a new idea, a new direction, and realizing that, hey, with the tower, shocking realization, my wishes are coming true. I'm researching a new path. And in the process, I'm giving birth to a very strong commitment or partnership. Okay. So in hindsight, by the last week of September, we do have someone... Okay, so this is where I'm feeling like someone's coming in 
They could have air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. They could be older than 40 with the King of Wands, uh, Swords energies. Um, they're not being honest. Uh, there are sly, cunning behavior in the area of romance. So someone uh, has either learned their karma or... Um, yeah, you're going to see that this person is walking in their shadow side with this energy. And they may even discuss what was so they can let it go somehow because that path is over. Those difficulties, worries, and fears are over. And Pisces, you're stepping into the Nine of Pentacles energies where you have beautiful surroundings, where you just are financially content. And you're just waiting to be able to announce something wonderful regarding finances or things of the material. You're waiting to manifest success where you can come together and celebrate with others. And it will come. There's a planning time, okay? Enjoying the journey before you lift the veil and show the world what you are working on or who you are. You guys have come a long way and you deserve what is transpiring here. Romance is in the air. There will be a chain of events, good news, and kind messages. An announcement, maybe from a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio with the Page of Cups energy. Spirit is guiding you to a new beginning. With the Ace of Wands, it's a gift from the universe regarding family, home, business, where you can lay down an old path. There's also, if you've been trying to do something financially, a, a beautiful offer is going to come with, from someone who's in a leadership position, and you're going to recognize that you have achieved success. And Spirit's giving you the strength to just let that attention and recognition shine down upon you. Remain balanced, because Spirit is showing you the way. There will be financial gain because of your efforts during the second half of September of 2020. So the overall energy, oh my gosh, I wonder how many of the 12 signs got this as a closing message. The Eight of Wands are things starting to happen very quickly. So 2020 was about trying to create a foundation, trying to figure out who we're going to create that foundation with, who we're going to let go of that's unhealthy, so we can celebrate a little bit of stability. Number five is about things starting to rock and roll, okay? Remember back in the days where things were going on that you don't remember sitting still at all because so much was going on? That's what's going to start to happen in the number five year, 2021. And obviously during the second half of September for this Pisces, good news is on its way. Uh, someone is going to come towards you and help you. And the two of you, maybe if you're in a partnership, are creating success and celebrating success with others. Maybe uh, in October, an offer or an announcement may come to you in October because there's a lot of feel good energy, uh, especially if some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. Sagittarius, and you are being both being shown the way to financial gain and stability. So the card says the overall energies for the second half of September of 2020 for Pisces. There's so much going on that it may feel overwhelming to you, and yet it's wonderful to be busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even if life feels challenging you can do this right behind that just like other people we also have the three of action here things are working out beautifully now that your ship has come in see some have some will let me know when it's time to decide what your next big project will be you may choose to continue to build upon your success or move to, on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. And I see another one. Be really be willing to travel. So there may be traveling going on here as well in relation to, how did they put it? This next big project. Okay. Time to download the videos. Thank you so much for stopping by to those of you whom have liked, shared, and subscribed to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running for a personal reading. Uh, just write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I will be uh, trying to post 
uh, my Wednesday and Thursday uh, live casts. I do a Zoom cast on Wednesday and a live video podcast on YouTube on Thursdays. If you're interested, write me at my email and I'll give you the link to the Zoom cast or just clarify the time for the Thursday podcast. Holy mackerel, things are moving. Take care and God bless.